What up guys, um, Lasers HD here, also known as LPX Delusions, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on After Effects CS5 on how to make this intro. It's kind of like a slidey one. Oh, it's gonna go slow, but. So you'll have whatever text and stuff you want, and then you'll have your YouTube link down the bottom, and that will go on for about five seconds. And um, so first of all, all you need to do is add a new composition. I'll go by twelve eighty by seven twenty, and take it to six seconds. So click OK on that. And first of all, you're gonna right click, new, solid, and you're gonna have like, I prefer having CF, 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 and you're gonna need to right click, copy whatever color you get, copy that number down there. It's important you do this for later, and just click make comp size, and OK. And so, ouch, sorry about that. Um, once you do that, you're gonna add your first, like, text. So, have, w first of all, we'll have the uh, Lush Productions. I'll have mine round about here. Like, the font I'm gonna be using today is, um, I think it's Anti Pasto. Antipasto, doo doo. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, once you do that and add your, um, other text if you really wish to, um, so, I'll just line that up quick. And then, first of all, right. Second now, sorry, you need to click on rectangle tool. Oh, click off that. Get your rectangle tool and make a box r big, bigger than both of them put together. Oh, like just bigger than both of them all together. And your stroke has to be on zero. And this is where you'll need to copy, <coughs> copy your code into there. So it's the same color. So that's like, it's a slip thing, like, the text is inside it and it slides out, if you get what I mean. Probably don't, but oh well. Um, so once you've done that, um, uh, uh, what, right, um, once you've done that, um, you need to just click off that arrow and stuff, and you need to go to the rectangle tool again, on no layer, and make like zoom in a tiny bit and make like a little like bar type thing where the text slides out from so um I'll have about there I'll change your fill to I'll change your fill to a darker fill um so that's that Oh, what am I doing? So just minimize both of those. And um now you'll want to on the Lush Productions click P for position. Click the stopwatch and then oh make sure you're on this like pointy selection tool. Click on click P on the Lush Productions or whatever you're gonna have and um, click and hold shift if you want to keep it like in line and stuff so drag it to there let's say and we'll do half second and then we'll click and drag it back and if it has that line then it means that's doing it it's like following it so first now we at the beginning we have like a text following it so that's basically the last like my bit done 
Um, once you've done that, um, I'll just quickly click P, highlight position, and I'll click and drag to here first of all, and then at one second, uh, I'll do that. So, all right. So once that's done, uh, you're halfway done. Like so. Basically, now, in a second, you have these bits sliding out, and what you want to do is, um, click, um, enable motion blur for all layers, or switch or whatever, so it's just like lo loads of little circles, and highlight this one, like that bit, this line, but on the two words. So it gives it a type of blurry effect as it comes out. Like as you can see there, on the presents, it has a blurry type effect. So now um, you want to add new text. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I need to be on here. <laughs> um, and now we'll have tutor. Um, tutorials. all in HD so, so once you've done that like just line that up or whatever and for this one we're gonna have like um, appearing like not sliding appearing so click on the layer oh wait do, do whatever text you want like uh, I'm gonna do and more Uh, tutorials all in HD and more. Alright, so English Productions presents tutorials all in HD and lots more. So select like whatever one and click T, and then it should come up with opacity. And then select that, drag this all the way down to a hundred, and then like I said, take it to halfway of a second, drag it all the way to a hundred, and then select you have a text if you want to click T, highlight that, drag it to zero, take it to two seconds, and then boom. So all that's done, like all so Lush Productions presents will like boom, like slide out. The second bit will appear and now we'll have www.youtube.com forward slash oh, what am I doing? Oh The Lush Productions, yay! <laughs> so now you're on um, Lush Productions. Click T again, and it will. You can do whatever. You can push P for that. Like you can make it come in from anywhere you want if you want, but I don't recommend that. And then um, once you do that, like um, I'm going to do the opacity one. So take that all the way down to zero. So it's going to be like that, uh, and um, take half a second up. And yes, my uh, computer is going slow when um, I record with Camstasia Studio 7, because my computer runs slow when I run it for some reason. So, yeah, I don't know why, but... And then drag this to 100, and then, like, you can basically... that That's the end of the intro, basically, like once you've done all this like all the stuff which you need to do like boom 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 you can drag this to whatever time you want you can cut it you want I don't mind and it's all yours and that's a basic sliding intro for today 
and please subscribe, rate, comment and subscribe for more tutorials on After Effects, Photoshop, Cinema 4D and plenty more. So thanks for watching guys, peace out.